Hi, in this AMA, Ask Me Anything, we're going to talk about the typical questions I get when people start on the keto diet. We'll talk about the keto whoosh, falling off the wagon, keto snack bars, and how to be successful with the keto diet. The first question, I've been on keto for six months and this last week that Christmas parties derailed me. Am I in trouble? No, not at all. If you've been on keto long enough, say two months, just get back on the diet and you're going to be in ketosis in less than 48 hours. What I would do in the first 24 hours is make your meal zero carbs, get yourself in ketosis quicker, and make sure your fat intake is around 80%. I'm pretty confident within a day you will see yourself back in ketosis. For others, it may take two to three days to get back into ketosis, and you can use a blood meter to test it out. The next question. I've been on keto for three weeks. My test strip shows I'm not in ketosis, but I've been losing weight. I get this comment a lot. First of all, if you want to use any type of test strips, you use the blood test strips. The urine test strips only test for excess ketones that are in your urine stream, which many people will see if you are doing keto correctly in the first couple of months. What a lot of people are not used to is eating the high amounts of fat. Most of the time, they just cut back on the sugars and carbs but they don't replace their energy deficiency with fats, which usually is around 80% of your diet. When I talk to a lot of people who complain about the strips are not working for, they don't realize they have to eat high amounts of fat, and they're not used to those high fat levels. And usually when they lose weight, it's just because they lower their carb intake and they're not eating sugar. More or less, they're losing weight because they're on the paleo diet, not on keto. But in the long run, they're going to falter because they're not eating enough fat for their daily energy needs. So they feel lethargic and probably will get the keto flu. And the next thing you know, they're eating bread, donuts, and cereal, and they feel better because they're getting that energy rush. It's all because they're not eating enough fat. The next question. I lost over 20 pounds in two weeks. Now I'm stuck. Keto doesn't work for me. This is called the keto whoosh. The keto whoosh is when you lose so much weight in the first 7 to 10 days. It's called the whoosh because people feel like it happens overnight and they think they'll be losing that amount each week. It doesn't work like that. And the reason this happens is because you're moving from carbs to fat as your energy source. And it takes your body maybe anywhere from 5 to 10 days to realize you're no longer eating carbs but eating fat. So all of the carbs stored in your body is released along with the water those carbs are holding. For every one gram of carb, you're holding between three to four grams of water. And one of the signs you are losing water weight is your frequent trips to the bathroom. After losing the water weight, your weekly weight loss stabilizes. You then lose between one and two pounds a week, which is not bad. Think about it. If you're on keto for three months, you'll lose anywhere from 12 to 24 pounds. For a lot of people, that's life changing. Next question. What do you think about the keto snack bars? Overall, I don't like them because they're very expensive and they have very minimal, minimal nutritional value. I would rather you eat animal fats or even an avocado versus those keto snacks which range anywhere from 2 to $4. And a lot of people eat more than one bar a day and you could easily spend thousands of dollars per year. I'm not as innocent. I've eaten these bars and usually when I poorly plan my meals for the day and get hungry. And they get you with the flavoring. When something tastes like a chocolate brownie, my God, you're gonna have more than one bar and that can lead to becoming like a gateway drug where the next thing you want is the actual brownie. The next question, what does it take to be successful with the keto diet? The first thing that comes to my mind is having the right attitude. You gotta have the right mindset that you really wanna change. If it's external, meaning that you want to look good in a swimsuit, then that's not gonna last very long, especially after you hit your target and the summer's over. But it becomes more internal, where you wanna stay healthy for the rest of your life, or it's a way of preventing you from having life-threatening diseases when you get older, the need to stay healthy is gonna hit you differently versus I need to get in shape for a swimsuit. Secondly, and it's frustrating for me to say this, but there are a lot of people who have no idea how to do the keto diet. They don't bother reading about the keto diet, which takes no more than 30 minutes to maybe two hours of watching YouTube videos. The information is out there. And I could summarize this within one minute. What you need to do is eat a high fat diet, which is usually anywhere from 70% to 80% fat. A normal amount of protein, probably the size of your palm with each dish. And you take away the sugars and eat some vegetables. 
and you maintain a carb intake at about 30 grams, which is roughly one or two slices of toast. Secondly, you need a plan. After you read about keto, the next step is to create a meal plan. And the best thing you want to do is plan out your meals for the next seven days. That's including breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then maybe one or two keto snacks. Planning puts you into automatic mode. Less thinking is needed because when you think too much on what you want to eat, you're going to cheat. So plan. And lastly, I think at the beginning, it's not the worst thing in the world to maybe buy a blood test strip just to guide you. A lot of keto purists hate these things, but if it's the first time you're doing it, the blood meter will give you an idea if you're on the right path. And once you have your rhythm down, you don't need to use the strips anymore. The advanced level is, if you are active, you can use the blood meter to test how many carbs you can take before getting kicked out of ketosis. And lastly, a lot of people don't put enough value in this, but you need to work out. Yes, you're going to lose weight if you get into ketosis, but it's part of the building blocks of having a healthy lifestyle, which includes being active. Now, if you're greatly overweight, there's no need for you to hit the gym for hours. I would start out with swimming so that there's less stress on the knees and joints. If you don't have that resource, just go for a walk. Do 10 minute walks each day for two weeks and increase the time by five minutes each week until you get up to 60 minutes. Then challenge yourself by turning those walks into jogs. And there are so many ways to have an active lifestyle. And I guarantee you, within six months, your life's going to be totally different and you will be amazed on what you have accomplished.